Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to create a beautiful portfolio website using Next.js and Tailwind CSS. So as we can see, we have this typing effect over here and we have this beautiful map bar with a hover effect and then if we scroll down, we have about me section. Then what I do section then we have skills sections and then we have creative work section you can hover to show the details of the project and then we have this beautiful contact us form and then we have this footer here so this is what we are going to create today i hope you guys are excited so let's get started so we will create a uh, next js project so i will add cmd to open command prompt in this folder and in here I am going to write npx create next app portfolio dash yt its portfolio yt This will create a starter next project and we will like to go to Tailwind website. So I will write Tailwind and click on get started. And in framework guides, we are going to select next.js. And now these are the steps we are going we need to do to install Tailwind in our Next.js project. So let first finish installing. Now we will go into this folder CD portfolio yt. And inside here we are going to do first thing is this one we have done. We cd into that folder and then we are going to install this using npm command so I will just copy paste after that we will open code editor vs code inside this folder so I will write code dot our vs code is here and inside this we will open terminal and we will do npx tailwind init hyphen p so this one is the thing it, it is going to create two files for us and those files are postconfig.css postconfig.js and tailwindconfig.js js okay now go back here and copy everything and we will go to tailwind config.js and just paste this file now just select all and control v paste this and then what we can do we can go to our global.css file and just do this so inside our styles inside global.css we are going to get rid of everything and then paste this that's okay and we are going to delete this file we don't need anymore and and we are done let's test it out with this hello world text so inside pages inside inside index.js i'm going to remove everything till the footer i'm going to keep this head here because we will need it and i'm going to paste that h1 and I'm going to do npm run dev 
let's open this website cannot resolve we have because we have deleted the file so we will need to delete this one also now this should work now this is here hello world okay so let's get started first of all we are going to minimize this and then we are going to write in title i am going to write my name like say we don't need this h1 we will take a header and inside this header we will take a nav bar which we are going to create so let's create a folder called components and inside components i am going to create nav bar dot js and we are going to get the nav bar here my auto import is not working so I'm, I have to import this manually component slash navbar and in navbar I am going to do RAFCE creating a react arrow based functional component and if you guys don't know how I can do it it's just extension called react redux and it's this one es7 react redux es7 react redux this, this component will give you snippets like r a f c e r f c e stuff like that so if we go to our browser we should see navbar yeah this is here everything is working for navbar we will have some styling so vg white fixed position fixed top zero width of 100 percent and z index 10 inside this div we will have another div with class container mx auto margin left and right auto flex and justify justify between item center and py of 4 and inside this we will have and again another div this time class name text dash 24 pixel and here we can write a name like say let's see what we get okay so far we have this and i'll make it red so that you guys can see what is actually going on here so let me make it red so instead of white i will say red 500 so we have this okay after this we will create this section let me this section here we are going to create this and then we are going to create this button okay so we will take a div we will give class name flex gap 6 and inside here we will have link tag 
inside here we will have link component next link component yeah import link from next JS. it auto auto imported here and we will have this href attribute and we will have a custom color on hover which is this one let's see what we got okay so we have this home here okay not this text like this okay so we have this home here let's quickly do it for all the menus so we will have we will have this many so they should be here yeah it's working they are here now make we will go and make the button For button, we are going to take a, a tag. Outside of this flex box, we are going to take a tag. For now, just hash, and it will say download download CV like this and then this is this will have a bunch of class so it's hidden by default let's see let's remove this one here so it is flex and then we have a border border color is this one and then we have padding or x that is padding left and right and then padding y of 1 that is 4 pixel and then we have text color of this and then we have rounded 5 pixel and then item center and then gap 2 and then we have hover bg when we will hover background color will change to this orange one and then text color will change to white and we have a transition and we have a duration so let's see how this is looking in the browser okay so since we have made this the same color we we cannot see clearly let's make this white again so we can see our download cv button is here but in the actual build you can see we have a download icon as well so for that icon we are going to use react icon library so if i can just search react icons this library we are going to use we have to do npm install first of all so i will open my terminal and i will do npm install react icon dash dash save okay this has installed the react icon now i will just collapse the terminal and then we can go to react icon and then search for download this icon looks okay to me so we will just click this one and then we will go back in here and i will we will write like this import and then icon which you copied then from react icons 
and then you have to do forward slash and then since it's starting with hi so i'm going to write hi this is how you use react icon and then you are just we are just going to paste this inside our anchor tag now our icon should be there let's see yeah our icon is here so we are done with the sidebar but not yet we need to make it responsive because our actual build is responsive so we are going to make it responsive as you can see if i can if i go to the mobile screen it's going to show hamburger menu and if i click it it's going to open this beautiful snap bar you can say so it is fully responsive guys as you can see it's fully responsive we can see it on, even on mobile devices and it's not going to break anything so what we have to do is we have to hide these things when we are on mobile screen we have to hide this button as well as this so we will say we will keep it side by side don't need terminal just a second so we will say for button by default it's hidden and in md medium breakpoint it's going to be flex as soon as i save it the button is gone from there now let's do the same for this item as well so hidden by default and in md we will flex now as soon as i save it it's gone and we will have this padding here px-4 as well okay looking good now we are going to go and take a menu icon from react icon and we will after our anchor tag which is here we will go and do this it's md it's hidden and we don't need on click right now we will do it later it's in md it's hidden are uh, as uh, and for other breakpoints it's shown so it's hidden for anything which is greater than md basically this means that as soon as i save it you can see this hamburger menu icon here so our navbar is working and it's mobile responsive as well so let's work on the hero section now which is this one if i can show you which is this section here this is our hero section so inside components i'm going to create hero.js and i'm going to do rafce and inside index i'm going to create a main tag and inside main tag i'm going to create hero you auto import it from the components folder and then i'm going to see if it's here or not seems so it's here since it's a fixed layout so that's why it's not showing up but our hero is there somewhere here so let's work on the hero section so first thing we will do is we will set a background image so we will set url and we have a background image named 
hero dot jpg and then we have hide the screen vg dash cover vg dash center vg dash fixed and flex and item center now inside here we will have another div with class name container mx auto px4 good and inside this container we will have another container with the class name we will have another div and this div will have class name max width 450 pixel and text white flex flex column gap of 40 pixel okay and inside here we will have another div this time with no styling just a div just a holder div and in h1 we will have class name text dash 5 xl And we are going to write our name here. I am Eva Rose. Looking great. Now in H4 we will write class name text that. 2xl empty margin top 3 and we will write we will take our typewriter effect we are going to do typewriting in this block here so for that we need a package called typewriter typewriter effect is the name of the package so we are going to open terminal and we are going to open a new terminal and in pmi typewriter effect we are going to install this okay it's done again we are going to import it import typewriter oops typewriter import typewriter from typewriter effect like so and then we are going to do is this this here as soon as I will save it's going to show us an error typewriter is not defined maybe we have spelled it wrong, wrong. yeah w is a small I have written in caps that's the issue and now it's working guys front-end developer and it's going to erase this and then write ui ux designer so this is working so we have a typewriter and then we have these options and in options we have a string a string is an array a strings is an array you can pass a number of words here i have passed only two and then you have change delay time that is three seconds and then change delete speed that is two currently auto start is true and loop is true so this is what i'm doing this is how the typewriter is working 
so now the next thing is we are going to make this text here so let's copy this and we are also going to make this line orange line here here somewhere here so so let's go and create that that very dash so for that i'm going to do div with a class name of bg dash hash ff4 d41 and height of 2 pixel and width of 40 pixel this should create the dash yeah dash is here and now we are going to take another div and this div will contain that very text so this will look something like this and this will contain a button which we will create in a moment so now this is done now we need to make this learn more button too so for that i'm going to create a separate fun a component because we are going to use this button a lot of time in our website so i will write button dot js and i will do rafce this button is going to accept text as well as a link and this will just be an anchor tag with href of link and text and we will give a class name and now we are going to write a bunch of tailwind style so since the style is too much that's why i'm going to give it a give it a custom class name that is btn and we can put our styles in our global.css file so i want to show you guys also that how you can do it so let's go and do it for this btn so we will go in global.css and i will write add rate layer components and we will open curly bracket and then we will write dot btn and we will write apply add apply and after that we can write our tailwind classes so so these are all the classes we need these are all the classes we need so now we will go back to our hero.js and inside here we will import that button component and we will pass link as hash for now and text as learn more as soon as i save it the button is here guys with our effect and everything because we have added the styles here in our btn class and this btn class is used by their button component which you can see here and then with this button is the styling okay so we are done with our hero section now now we will go back go to the about section about section this one here so let's go and create about section for about section we will have about.js file and in about.js i will also do rafce and we will take a section and class name container mx auto py10 
px4 this will start with a heading if you guys can see this heading and then this heading these are common so we are going to create a component for heading as well so let's go and create that component first so i will write heading.js and in here rafce okay and we will take a div with class name text dash hash two three two nine four zero and then text thirty two pixel pound medium flex item center gap for py 16 and inside here we will have title which we will receive from props and we will create a dash after that so class name bg dash hash ff4d41 height 2 pixel width 40 pixel translate dash y dash 1 okay i save this and now go back to the about section and and here we are going to take heading how to import this and title equals to about me this should work for that this to work we need to import about page here auto import and then save this not this one it's this one so about me is here guys and with the dash also so far so good let's keep building this about page about section we will have a div and then class name grid grid column one and in md we will have grid column two gap 60 pixel good then we will have this image inside a div we are going to take a image and this image will have a class it will have a width of 400 pixel and the image is about me dot jpg this should work now yeah the image is here as you guys can see now let's take a div wrapper div this div will hold another div and this will hold a again another div and this will have a class of flex flex column and gap 6 okay 
then this div will finally hold some content so this div will be of class flex gap for item center found medium and it will hold something like birthday and we will take icon from a remix uh, from react icons I will quickly import this one import from react icon slash AI okay so our birthday and birthday icon is here since we are making this thing guys we are making this this will make a dash and then we will give a year birth year okay so we will have this birthday study then website then interest then location this four thing so I'm just quickly going to copy paste this okay here we go now we have to import the icons as well so let's go and import them as soon as I imported the error is gone and we have this five things here okay let's go again and copy paste this after this div okay so I have pasted this dot one uh, with a flex flex column and gap of 6 text gray 600 same classes will be applied to this one here also this info I pasted so it's looking nice as you can see now what we have we have this I am Eva front-end developer and then we have some sort of description so let's work on this so after this div we are going to have div class name max width 800 pixel and we will have this things inside here we will have this button is not imported so I'll just control space and then import this now so we have this max width or max width of 800 pixel it will not go beyond the 800 pixel and then we have the h2 with font bold uh, that is written with i am eva front end developer and then we have a p tag with text gray and with no more style and then we have our cool button with hire me text that's it for the about section and then we have what i do section so for that we are going to create what I do file what I do dot js 
and we will do RAFCE and we will quickly go to index and inside here we will do what I do auto import and save so what I do section is here as you can see now inside here we will start with section section and we will give class name class name of container mx auto py 10 px 4 we will start with the heading our heading component we will import we will give in the title we will give what I do that's it I hit save let's see if this here yeah what I do is here looking beautiful now we will create this part this three card type structure we are going to create this so For that we will take a div with class name with class name grid grid column one for mobile layouts and for MD medium devices that is after 768 pixel and beyond we will have create column 3 so this is how first card will look we will have shadow LG that is used for shadowing but let me first import this icon here so import from react icon slash ri Now the error should go away. So first of all guys we have this shadow which is basically a box shadow and then we have flex and then flex column then we have gap of 4 gaps between this this here gap of 4 then we have px padding x of 8 and py padding top and bottom to 10 and then we have a background color and then we have text white so if we can just copy this thing two more times we can make our three cards so our three card is here what I do section is done now next section is skill section so it's not very hard so for that section we are going to create a file called skill.js skills.js and we will do rafce and we will go to index and we will go skill auto import just like same what we do in what I do we will also do same in in skills so I'm copying this and I'm going to paste it here inside section 
and this is going to say skills of course let's see if it's here heading we need to import heading control space and import it so our skills is here so first of all we'll have a paragraph which is this one here lorem ipsum so we will take a paragraph this one here and text of gray we have a margin top in negative 40 pixel and then we have a mb margin bottom of 10 pixel that is 40 pixel we will save it and this here now we will create a grid layout of two columns if it's an md device and one column if it's a mobile device so we will do something like this we will have grid we will have grid column one for mobile and then anything for md which is 768 or above anything we are going to create two layer uh, two columns with a gap of six and then in skills we will have a div first of all a wrapper div and then in p we will like type react.js and then we will take a div with class name relative bg dash gray dash 400 and we will have height of 4, four pixel and margin top 2 pixel okay so we have this sort of line here and now we will have uh, div here with class name bg dash ff4d41 it will be absolute and height again 4 pixel then width 90% as soon as i save it you can see this is here this is like a progress bar guys so react js is like say uh, we know 80 90 percent react js so this is how it's, all the skills are going to be made so i'm quickly going to copy paste these skills because uh, you guys now know understand how to make it so it just it's no point making all this so i'll just quickly copy paste this like here and as soon as i save it's here skill section is here and skill section is done now so let's go again then creative work section is coming so we will create this section next so for this section we are going to create work component I'll call it work.js and again RAFC okay and control P index dot JS and I will write work and auto import it and go to work section and we will take a section class name container mx auto py 10 px 4 looking great now we will have a heading component heading title will be 
क्रिएटिव वर्क्स लेट्स सेव दिस एंड लेट्स सी इफ इट्स वर्किंग या सो क्रिएटिव वर्क्स इज हियर नाउ वी विल गो एंड टेक अ डिव take a div and this div will have a class name grid grid dash call 3 it will be a three column grid and it will contain all the works so we will have a div here with a class name of row dash span 2 we just span the grid we will say relative we will say group group and we will take img as our the work dash 1 dot jpg we will have a alt tag and we will take another div with class name bg dash hash 0000000 Zero and V D for opacity and absolute width one hundred percent top zero opacity zero. transition duration 500 and we will say group colon hover colon passit Opacity one hundred. I will say grid. Place items. Center, and we will say text white. Let's save this. And our first image is here. and if we hover this one nothing is happening let me see what is going on here yeah this one will be group dash hover as soon as i save it so i have added this project title and this should work now now this is working as you guys can see now we will have some more items here which i am going to copy paste after this div we will have a bunch of more items so this is our work section guys this is our work section so we have completed our work section now we just have to make this contact us page and contact us section and then we will have to make this beautiful footer at the bottom so let's work on the contact page contact dot js and r a f c e and we will do control p index and here i will do count 
stack. And here again we will take section for classes again it will be container mx auto py10 px4 so we will have heading saying contact us and we will have a form action is nothing for now and we will have some classes in the form so it will it is a flex then flex dash call and then gap it looks great let's save this and see what we have we have this contact us so far so let's take a div class name grid grid column one and on md it will be grid column 2 gap 8 and we will have input type equals to text placeholder name class name will be input style it will be our custom class which I will create in a moment and this is required and that's it for the input so let's create this input style class so we will once again go back here we will say add apply and we will have this here just a simple style outline of orange color and then border gray 400 border and then rounded 5 pixel and p padding x of 4 padding y of 2 that is 8 pixel and which is 100% so the our style is applied on this text here it's looking good let's quickly make other text also without wasting much time we will do one more for email so it's here you can see we will do one more for subject so subject one is here and we will do a text area and a button so we will take a text area and a button text area message and then we have this send message button so if we click this send message it's going to say please fill out this field we have this required that's why it's working like that we have all the fields are required so if you fill every field then you can pretty much reload it's going to say for the password for the email so you can just reload this page it will just reload this page okay so contact is also working now the final part is our footer so let's create our footer so for that i will just go and write footer.js 
then RAFCE, then index, and inside here I will write not inside main, outside main. I will take footer. And inside footer, I will take footer. Auto import is not working for some reason, so I have to import footer manually. Oh, I have spelled it wrong that's why the auto import is not working it's f double o t e r footer and I have written f o double t e r okay so let's delete this one and create footer dot js like so go back footer So our footer is here as you can see let's quickly create our footer footer is going to be really simple guys just some text and some image so this is what our footer is going to look like so we have a background image of footer bg and then it's bg cover and then it's bg center and then we have height of 200 pixel and then text white we have grid display grid and place item center so that this item is in center and we have text center here that is text line center so if we can see this is how our footer is looking now the last thing which we need to do is we need to implement this button so that if we click it should open our and uh, navbar for mobile devices so let's work on this one first of all we need to click on this hamburger menu which is located in sidebar so we will go sorry not sidebar in navbar we will go in navbar and we will do on click toggle sidebar we will create this function at index js we will create this const open is open set is open we will, we will have a, a state using use state and I'm going to auto import it use a state my auto import is not working no no it's here yeah use state and default value will be false And we will have a function called const toggle sidebar and this will do is set is open to negative of is open okay then we will pass this function to navbar And in nav bar we will accept the props okay good looking good now we will create a sidebar dot js file and 
and we will do RAFCE and we will style it something like this so it has a close button icon so I will quickly import it import from react icons dash ri okay so in here guys as you can see we are passing we are receiving is open is open so if is open is true then we will have a display fixed if if is open if is open is not true then we will have display hidden so is open is toggle from there this is open i'm trying to say first of all is false then navbar is not seeing once we click this one navbar will seeing so for that we for that to work we need to do we need to get our sidebar here and we need to pass is open is open and toggle sidebar toggle sidebar and in sidebar we will give toggle sidebar and on this x closing x button just like this we will call this toggle sidebar function let's save this let's click and then this is open and we can go to any link if we want and then we can close this also so this is working guys so this is fully responsive i can show you on mobile device let me go to inspect and mobile and apple se let's see everything is working right and no layout is breaking everything is looking good cool everything is cool and it's opening and it's closing also so everything is working in mobile device also so that's all guys for this video i hope you guys like the video if you like please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and please support brave coders thank you so much for watching i will meet you in the next one